Hi then guys, this is Abubakar Zachary and this is the Dev Mister's YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a copy to clipboard functionality to your Django CK editor. So, uh, so far in this series, we've been able to set up Django CK editor on our back end. That's, um, let me show you guys. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, the Django CK editor is being used as a text editor in the admin dashboard. And then also we'll be able to set it up on our front end, as you can see right here. And then I also showed you guys how to enable the code snippets plugin and also use different code highlight themes and then uh, we also uh, I also explained how you can use the HTML5 plugin in your Django CK editor for uploading video videos to your sites so something like this you see <laughs> and uh, for the last video I showed you guys how you can use the YouTube plugin for it to embed videos YouTube videos into your website. So now for this video, uh, I already wrote an article about the process, so I'm just going to be following the article. But don't worry, I will leave a link to this article down in the description. So uh, let me see. To begin, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, say that uh, most of the codes, or let's say like 90% of the code for this. Uh, process is gotten from this link right here. Uh, that's a GitHub gist made by Steven Harris. So I just made uh, some little changes to enable it to work uh, the way I want in uh, Django CK editor. So let's start. Step one, you have to add jQuery to your project because the code uses jQuery. So uh, you can just copy this link right here. This is the CDN link for getting jQuery. And you go to your head tag and you import it in like this. Oh, wait a minute, let me put it down here. So we are getting jQuery from an external CDN link. That's step one. Then step two, you create a main.js file. You can name it the file anyhow, any how you want, but after you created it, then you import it into your project like this as well. So it's going to be okay. Let me create the file. Go to your static folder and file dot js. Okay. First of all, ensure that you've loaded static into your HTML file, else it won't work. I'm sure that. If you are at this stage and um, using Django, you already know about that, so I won't go into that. So, we are importing the JavaScript file that we just created into our HTML page through the script tag right here. The next thing to do now is to copy and paste this code. Okay, uh, I need to implement this copy to click functionality on my content. My content is next year, so I have to make a little bit of research and do that. So uh, you copy it and then you paste it into the main.js file. This was wrong. Yeah, I copy this. Alright, uh, next step. This is the styles, so you have to copy this as well and place it inside of your CSS file. I haven't created the CSS file yet, so I'm just adding the style right here in the body tag. So you can just paste it anywhere inside of it, like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Alright, that's everything. Let me you can see for example look at this section right here this is our code simple section if i refresh it now uh, so 
sorry it's taking so long guys my network is kind of a bit poor okay it has worked so as you can see you now have a copy button right here you click on it copies the text inside the code snippets you can see after a while it reverts back to this copy so let me show you for example let me paste it you can see copied what was inside exactly let me see yeah copy what was inside exactly so now let's say for example you don't want to use this uh like you don't want yours to be just copy and then when you click on it on to copy you want to use like uh, an icon or an image of a clipboard so um i've already downloaded an image for a clipboard where is it right here this one what i'm going to be using as you can see the background is transparent so all you have to do is go to your main.js and then this section right here line number seven you remove this copy and replace it with an image tag like this um let's I'll see and you add the path to the image mine is in static image result.png static image results.png okay let me save this and refresh it and see what we get okay but uh, as you can see the image is actually too big so um i already created a class for this yeah right here i'm going to be giving it a uh, with a class with a width of 20 px height of 20 px you can play around with that number if you wish so you add the class right here class img that's what i called it right img yeah okay, so now save it and save it let me refresh it once more okay you can see got a clipboard icon right here so obviously you can style this to make it look better so it doesn't add a bit of css so uh when you click on it you can see it changes to copy it but after a while it changes back to this copy text right here we want it to change back to that same icon so what you have to do now is go back to your main.js copy this your image tag right here i've copied it you scroll down to line number 54 if i'm not mistaken yes so now this is uh dot text you have to change it to dot html then you just replace this copy with that image tag that you copied so uh let me do it once more refresh it okay so let's try that again now if i click on this button copy it uh, as you can see it it goes back to that clipboard icon if or uh, you want to change the text that this copied right here that's at line number yeah line number 49 so you can change it to anything you want you can even add an image if you want as well maybe you want to do it that uh, when someone clicks on the icon you should change to a clipboard image that is of a different color you can add that right here but for now let me just change the text to copy code okay let me refresh it Okay, so I see copied code and then returns back to the original clipboard icon. So that's uh I think let's see everything still works. Yeah, okay, so let me add like uh, a new copy to clipboard section right here. 
sorry, a new code snippet section. So, um, let me just get a bit of code to use. Uh, this one is too long. Let me find something a bit shorter. Okay, I already used this before. Okay, let's let's use this right here. Copy it, paste it in, and this is a uh, Python. So scroll down, look for Python, select it. That's everything. Let's save it. So now, if I refresh the page, can you see? It also has this uh, copy to clipboard icon right here. So it's going to be added to all code snippet sections of your website. So you can see this one has it. And this one also has it as well. So let's test it out. If I click on it, copy the code. Let me remove this. So you can see, copy exactly what was in the code snippet section. So that's all for this video. And guys, please uh, do well to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It will go a long way to help my channel to go. So that will continue to bring you guys more amazing. Uh, content. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.